Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm inside CapCut desktop version. I'm going to show you how to brighten or relight dark video footage for free. That's right. CapCut desktop is a free app and all of the things I do here cost nothing and it's easy to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's some original footage of some guys just kind of going into a building. It's dark. You can't see their faces. It's very, very hard to make out. Here it is relit bright. You can even see the tiling here. You can see the grout in the tiling. That's how good this is. If I go forward a little more here, I'm going to turn this off. Let's see what we got here. We've got this dark outdoor scene. It's pretty good, but all I had to do was click and it's relit and it's nice and bright. And then finally, I'll show you one more example here. This is a dark outdoor scene here. Uh, I guess the lamp post is going on kind of out of the exorcist and then bang, it's completely relit. So I'm going to show you how to do all this. Again, it's free. Let's go step by step. All right. So the first step is if you do not have CapCut, the desktop version, you want to go to this link here. It is in the description below, so you can just click on it and you want to go ahead and download and install it. It is free and there's no nonsense. Do keep in mind that if you go to CapCut.com, they have a login and this is for their online version. This is not the same as their desktop version. They're trying to make it as good as the desktop version and they're doing a great job, but it doesn't quite have the functionality the desktop does. So keep in mind you want the desktop and you want it installed for this uh, adjustment. All right. So once you're in CapCut and you've got it open here, you want to look on the left side. It says import. Just make sure you're on device and then upload the footage that you want to work on. I've already gone ahead and uploaded it, but if I wanted to do it again, I would just click on Finder on a Mac, uh, Explorer on a PC and just grab the footage. So I've got a group of soldiers kind of going into a building. That's the one we'll work on. And then simply I'll just drag and drop it right on top like that. Now it's imported. It says lost media not found because I've already imported it. So um, here we go. Here's the here's the video. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that into the timeline here. When I do that, you'll see here that I've got this. Yeah, I've got this dark looking footage here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop it about, you know, five seconds here or so because I just want to show you the technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it. But there we go. We've got this footage and it is dark and you can't really make out anything here, for example. Now, the next step here is we're going to go over to the right side and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different options. I'm actually, actually, pardon me, I'm going to go to adjustment first and then under adjustment, you'll see custom adjustment. I'm going to drag this down on top just like that. And then I'm going to grab the handle on the end here and just make sure that it's the same length as the footage that I want to uh, brighten. So here we go. We've got the adjustment layer on top. Nothing's happened yet. No worries. Now on the right side, you'll see it says adjustment. Here's where the magic is. What you want to do is you want to first off, you want to click on curves. That's right. Every guy likes curves. These are some nice curves here. I'm going to go ahead and now click on the first curve. It says Luma. What is happening here is we've got the shadows is on the left side. We've got the midtones in the middle and we've got the highlights up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading the shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it and pull this up and you're going to see right here that I'm going ahead and adjusting the Luma curve. Now Luma, for those of you that don't know, Luma is basically luminance and luminance is brightness. So we are basically just pulling up the brightness and I'm just going to pull it up as I see fit here. Uh, maybe something like that, maybe a little more in there. What do you think? Something like that. Should I bring it up a little more? Let's do it a little more. Why not? Let's go all the way so you can really see what's happening here. So if you have a really dark piece of footage, you could do something like this. Let's go something like that and then up, 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 up. Now this is way over the top, but I just want to show you the technique. So there we go. We've adjusted the Luma curve. You adjust yours as you see fit. Once that's done, if we turn this off here, this was the original shot. This is the re uh, brightened or, or brightened shot. So there we go. We're already on our way. And in fact, that might be all you need to do. If you want to go further, you can click back here to basic. And now we can just do some quick adjustments. So for example, you can increase the exposure if you need it even brighter, depending on the type of shot you got. The brighter it gets the, like this, though, just keep in mind, you will see a little bit of noise because, well, we are going quite pretty. We're going deep into the uh, into the brightness spectrum here. I'm going to go ahead and click on highlight. Maybe I'd increase the highlights a bit again, depending on what you're looking for. You can adjust shadows. I mean, this is really going over the top, but again, you know what, depending on what you're going for. And then lastly, brilliance. If you really need to jack it up, 
here's an example. So let's just say this is a little bit too much, don't get me wrong, but here is the original shot. Dark, you can't see really anything other than, you know, the background here. Hit play. Now watch this. With just that, we've gone ahead and brightened up everything. It's all there. It's done. That's how you do it inside CapCut for free. Cost nothing. Finally, click export, and that's it. You can go ahead and export it to your desktop or whatever, and you're done, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.